campaign. Yep, sorry for the big pause. I fully forgot what I was doing and where. So, this is the Seleucids. I was talking before and did a whole intro and then realized I forgot to click stream. So, we're not more in the game than the just past the loading screen. Just if anyone was um, confused, as you start with this pop-up. The Eastern Set Strippy Decision. So, yes, I, I'm i still iffy about whether I continue this the Frigia campaign. We are doing quite well as Frigia. The only reason I'm not sure is because of the next update changes Frigia a bit. As well as a kingdom. Um, a name change. They become the... Antigonus Kingdom, I believe, or the Kingdom of Antigonus. So yeah, with that name change, I was a bit iffy whether I should continue or whether I should just do another campaign while I wait. So yeah, I thought we could look at the Seleucid Empire. They have a hard start, and we'll go over what it is. See, they look big and buff and strong but they do have a few things against them they have a quite a few different cultures in their borders as well as right next to the marian empire which is quite strong and phrygia now with this decision we could end up in a two-front war but we do have a choice with this. It's not like Frigia where it's war and that's it. We do have a choice. We could negotiate, get a couple of elephant units. But we will lose a sat strap. Uh, client state from us, the we we'll lose a sastrap and a client state. So, but we, we get some nice units. Now, if we decide to say no and go to war, we have, unfortunately, some un unrest to deal with. And we won't be able to take as as advantage of the Frigia position. Now, I'm suggesting we actually negotiate. Now, you'll see why. So, yes, that's going to suck losing them as a SAS trap and them as a client state, but let's have, go over why. So, the best way to see why is culture map mode. As you can see, the, we have a lot of issues with culture. And we are about to go to war with Phrygia. And we'll be able to attack their capitals. Take a bunch of Macedonian pops. Cappadocian pops. We're about to go to you know, a big war with the Greeks. A bit more similar culture than if we were just going to focus on this war. Now, there's no way to avoid a war with Phrygia at the same time as a war with Maria if we start it. If we went along with that other decision. A two-front war this early on would suck. Now, we have time to get some defences up and get our borders ready for the big war. But right now... We could focus in a one-way war and get all these nice pops that are up for grabs. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Free idea slot. Well, we want the morale. They want the loyal generals and admirals. Hmm. Getting rid of corruption might be good as well. Or 
improvement opinion. Not sure which one would be better. That would be amazing. That would be good as well, but right now we'll go with improvement as we need to get our some of our vassals like Bactria, we want them a whole lot more loyal. The other our other vassals that are not loyal, what do we got? We have Bactria is a nice one. These guys are about to leave us, so we don't care. They're about to leave us. Tributary, and that was important. Parthia. So Parthia here, we want them to be more loyal. So, let's get some imports in. We will get some iron to give us the boost to our infantry. We'll get, we have grain, we'll get some, we'll get it from our tributary. We want pop speed, conversion speed, as we want to try and get that converted as quickly as possible. One more would be, should we go, we'll go spices. No, precious metals. There we go, precious metals. There we go, look at that. Omen now. Province loyalty will be good, research points will be better. All of our armies, we will get ready on the border. Or close. So, there. I will... We'll build one of these. The only reason we're not going to build more right now... Is we really do need to get... Um, to up our military for this war. What do we have? We want some... There. Pop a simulation. And a library. Okay. Now we'll... Now we'll just up our military a bit. Oh, we can play. Peace in our time. There we go, look at that. We have elephants in this army. Now this is going to be a heavy hitting army. We're not planning to go to war with Egypt right now, so we'll get some precious metals from them now. Alright. This army will up a bit. Actually, we might bring this these two armies together. There. Core scum trade. Why are you just dis so disloyal? You are not corrupt, but you are disloyal. So we'll give you something. Yeah, here, take that. You have a holding now, be happy, and leave me alone. All right. Where war is about to break out. 
You want this little province here. Take that. We're going to have one sneaky army go south. Our main army will go just make a beeline for their capital. War in Greece. We're going to let Egypt and Macedon fight it out a bit while we wait. Should also see who would ally us. Let's do that. We actually haven't got allies right now. So, alliances. Sort by opinion. These guys are our vassal and they're now loyal. We got Partia loyal now. That is awesome. Bactria is also not loyal, but on their way. Empress, well, they are, they are outside our diplomatic range. Of course they are. If Rhodes will die, die. let's see. Rhodes, will you ally? Rhodes would ally us. Hmm. Should we ally Rhodes? Now, that is a good question. Um, why not? Rhodes, be my ally. Or not. I don't really care that much. Armenia, would you uh, be interested in an alliance? Probably not. No, you don't like me. That is fine, because I don't like you either. Not buddies right now, anyway. Our large army is ready. Awesome. We will move it north, and it can sit here. Has Egypt jumped in on the wall yet? So far, Egypt is not involved. War with Macedon. You want to be the ruler? Well, that is not going to fly, my friend. Not going to fry, big old psychops. Now merge. Or the calf. You can have two calf. All right. Thank you. And I make a nice calf unit. And these guys are ready for. So. We're ready for war. We have both of the units up north. This unit is going to be a full caveat detachment to run around in defense. We are going to pretty much rush them. What do we have? Corrupt governor. No, he's, you can go leave. Well, I'll just get you up there, so I can try and make you loyal at the same time. Mm. Nah, stuff it. I don't really care if you're loyal. I don't want to bribe you, because you'll get more corrupt, and that'll have a more negative effect on the province loyal loyalty than just him being a bit disloyal with me. All right, let us now get our calf. We're going to get some horse archers in here, some heavy calf. And this is going to be our calf. You know, it's going to hit hard and it's going to hit fast. All right, Egypt is at war. We will be next. Our units are ready. That's why the only reason they're not training is I want their morale Full. Personality. You're up. And you are a good 
phalanx. Now you, my amazing 13th general. My king. Once this war breaks out, he will charge through. I might even get an extra supply wagon just to be sure that he does not run out of supply because that would suck. My cav unit's being reinforced. That's going to go southward. Because once I break through that one fort in the south here, just this one, I will have free reign. I could even avoid that fort by just going through that pass, which would possibly be better. No, actually it won't. I, if I take the fort, my capital's secure. Alright. Alright. Give me a second. Did we ally with them? We did ally with them. Awesome. Who else should we ally just before this war breaks out? Let's see. You. Should you be an alliance? Yes, why not? And that should do it. We'll offer to take all of this area. If they give us all this area, yeah, we have no reason for war. They will not accept, and we will be in to war. All right. This means only war. We'll pause it. We'll call our allies in. Uh, we'll call our other ally in. And they will not accept. Why will you not accept? Bad stability. War balance. Huh. Well, you will accept. Good. At least one of my allies has courage. So first place I will take will be Capitation City here. Actually, no, I'll tell you. Yeah, so here, that 8K will focus on Cappadocia, this large stack. will focus on Frigia. So I'll go straight for this capital here. Let's play. I believe my general's already there. Cappadocia did enter this war, so that's fine. We will wreck them with our forces. We're losing a tiny bit of money, but that's fine. We don't have any mercs, so it's less risk. We're going to put our fleet maintenance down, and we're earning money again. Yeah, go for it. Build defenses, that's fine. And I'll get another general here. Enveloped actually would be very good. It's all cav. That would be better. And you would be good in not shock because they will probably have phalanx. So either we'll go phalanx. That's better than being counted. At least being equaled gives my units the advantage. All right, and you guys go take that couple of fort. Nice and easy. We'll move to the next city. And then we'll take their fort. So we 
hitting them hard, hard and fast while they're already at war on many different fronts. And we'll call our none of our allies in as they are not going to get involved so they're going to just miss out on benefiting from this war that said considering Frigia's navy they wouldn't be able to do much anyway there we go there 1k there that's fine Oh, good. Um, I'll accept now. Awesome. Rhodes is now has joined the fray. seen any of the Phrygian armies, which is totally fine. It's probably up north here, taking down Thrace. Egypt and Phrygia are in a stalemate and nowhere seems to be occupied. Can I move through this territory? They are a tributary, not in the war. We will sack them. None shall hide. They will feel our wrath. All right. Let us, can we make it to their capital? We can make it to their capital. Let's do that. Let's go straight for the jugular. Oh, here they are. Hello, Phrygian armies. Let's get rid of you before you come to me. Oh, there. Yes, join us. Please. Alright, looks like our men are easily winning this battle. And they're moving through this annoying little team. So, so this is why we need to get our cav up there. Once it's fought fours, our cav can just go northward and be the defending force against these little slippery armies. So we can sack their capital. Hmm. Just saying if Egypt is advancing, because that would be good for us. We want Phrygia fighting on many different fronts, so that will make it a lot easier for us. Alright, so this army is finally out, out of food. Not a surprise, but we can still hold out this siege for a bit longer. Oh, we'll sack this city while we chase down this army. Again, we're just trying to keep that army away from our actual territory until our cav defense can arrive. Awesome. There we go. And now our cav defense can arrive. Awesome. So you can actually just go straight to the capital. And these guys can actually get some food back. Alright, I'll let their food 
battery capacity rise a tiny bit more. I know there's an army around here. There it is. Nine K, it would be good if we can kill that nine K. We would not send the pretender. Governor, I don't really want to send him. No. Uh, why not? I'll send the pretender as it's as I can get him out of a nice position and fill it with a loyal. There we go, that's going to work out better for us. I don't really need to watch that to know he's dead. Oh, it's a nice little city for us. Make it so that this vassal does not contribute to the war. It looks like one of my allies is getting wrecked, but one is winning. Oh, that's because he called me into his war. Right, and he's getting wrecked because he is just weaker than them. Plain and simple. I'll give him a gift. I, I can't fight over there. If I give him a gift, he can get some mercs. There you go. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Use that money wisely, because you're not getting another. Now I can use this army to absolutely... My cav army is going to full swing. This army, I am... Um, let's start destroying these nice provinces here. Oh, Pathia. <laughs> yes, my actual vassals have come to my aid. That investment in loyalty was definitely worth it. In my tests, if I go to war in the east, my vassals do not support me. They sit back and just watch me burn. Well, not me burn. I still won, but just costs a lot more a lot more manpower a lot more money even though I'm tempted to send this army out I can't this is my defense army it has a big job ahead because if any of their armies slip by the defenses they can cause havoc and having a cab force like this it really helps being able to intercept Oh, Egypt's over here. Alright, go help. Oh no, don't need to help. You just do your thing. Um, there will be a nice target. Actually, no, there. We still want you to be kind of north. Don't care about pirates right now. I might take the rest of their cities and try and... They are a client state, but we can get them... Oh, look, that's their capital. All right, now. We're really starting to 
burn them. Go here, focus. I'm getting these victories in these provinces. All right. We'll get a nice governor. That's your hope. Just making sure that all families have a pick. This guy looks very good. He's loyal. Not too much popularity. Awesome. He will do nicely. quickly grab that territory take care of the set straps take care of our people And we have the gold to fix it. Perfect. Egypt's doing well. They're hanging around up here. Knossos has actually done okay. I'll make sure I give them something in this war. Let's face it. We want to reward our allies, show them that we value their contribution. If they're loyal, they get re rewards. If they're not loyal, I will burn them. Hmm. Just trying to think of some nice provinces to loot. Oh, there's an army there. Go kill that. Where else should we go? Ah, oh, just that. To hold on to all of our regions. How are we losing this? Which province? You just go nuts, take every single one. Every province. You don't let any enemy through. Including that one right next to you. There's a nice city for you. Go burn it.
Oh, there's the army. Run, roads, run. It's not too bad. My army should be able to smash it though. Once I take this city, I might just do that. Alright, go. There they are. of them go to the battle where uh, so we're victorious we push them back here and then they're gonna try and attack but lose the will to fight. Okay, this is going to be a closer hit for us, but we have the elephants on the flanks. So they're dead. And they're dead there. That's two victories in a row for us. Okay, that's a 10k, so that's a bit more of a threat. Hide. All right. They are going to just walk in here and get smashed. We're okay with that. Alright, that's, um, war goals still contested. We might move our cat in, it's just so we can s destroy this army. Twenty K. This is going to be a bit more of a challenge. Yeah, we'll try and intercept it now. Damn it. Just go, 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 go. Just hold out long enough, my friend. Yes, you will hold. That is... Ah, oh, it's too late, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But yeah, so once my large army arrives, they die. So it's worth it, moving our small army in to intercept. But was still very um, costly for us. move that army now all the way back and we'll start to regroup you just they're coming into my land and that is not acceptable I go into theirs they don't go into mine we don't have that kind of relationship my vassals are doing their job 
omen that I'll pass will be research points. Actually, it might be uh, province loyalty. We're about to have some aggressive expansion. A 10k ran when they saw my curve. But we are going to hunt them down. Once they get close, we will set our trap. Nuncha hide. So again, our focus is on this real, this coastline. It's wonderful for us, full of much opportunity. Do we want to sue for peace? Or do we just want to keep going for a little bit? They're hiding their army. Well played. I see no reason for peace right now. We will end up Obviously, so we put for peace and we can't get everything. Now, what are our missions anyway? All right, stabilize and grow. Start this. Okay, cool. Nuncha hide. And look, we can't let another an army get the better of one of ours, which it won't. Which is good. Alright, they're fifteen K up there, up north. Let's go reduce that again. Who is, why do I care about her? Rival. All right. Some lady gets, loses some loyalty is not the worst. Every member of the Seleucid family losing loyalty. That's a bit of a suck. Oh well. We'll deal with it. Slave happiness equals money for us. Oh, they sacked Apollo's temple. Rude. Oh, that's different story. They're starting to get their army together. Alright, who warlike is a bit worse. Good way to get some free loyalty. All right, there's their army. We have to destroy it. It needs to die. Pirates. 
Either we destroy this army or we go for peace. That's the question. It looks like... We still got the war. We can peace out for the... Let's see what we can get in the peace first. Alright, let's go for this area. They'll accept. Let us... Leave Cappadocia as we want to weaken the Seleucids a bit more. Oh, look at this. This is nice. They will accept this. This is a decent, decent victory. Oh, that is a nice chunk of nice, rich land. If we go any further, our aggressive expansion will be a bit high. Now... Let us give some land to our allies. They get this land. Okay, we will lose this. Uh, okay, reset. We get, what do they suggest we do? Oh. Thing. Reset there. There. Which does link up. And there. As well as... Something for roads. And roads can get here as well. No, they can't get there. They cannot get there. There for roads. How strong do we want to make roads there? That's the question. Mm, that's strong enough, I guess. This is just way too valuable for us to pass up. We just took away one hefty, hefty lot. This capital city will be left alone. Local unrest is down. We can do this and absolutely rob them. We'll go with a local unrest is nice. It'll be nice. Why not? Now. So we could have gone for more in this war, but we didn't really need to when it came down to it. Our cav will sit in the kind of middle of our territory, therefore... Uh, that's not middle. Our middle's obviously around here, but that's all desert, so stuff that. We need a governor. It'll have to be a loyal governor because this is not going to be a loyal province. Popularity, wow. He has a lot of popularity. Who is he? I'll adopt this man. We want this area in our family. Alright. Look at that. That is a nice growth. Alright. What do we got here? Oh, this is real bad. This isn't too bad. We get some money. Let's 
Slave unhappiness, slave unhappiness. Uh, slave happiness, but primary air attraction. Hmm. This is better in the long run. What is this? This is um, West. Where are these regions anyway? Let's check region map mode. I think there is one. Religions, no. There, regions. Oh, this territory here. Nice. Good. Good, good. Alright, so. Cultural map mode. Sack of Zeus. Who did that? Some random. Look at all this money we're making now though. We have banked up. Let's go invest. Skip. No, back so. See how it looks here, so. Cities. We need academies everywhere and libraries. So we go with the libraries. citizen count up that's about all we're going to invest in libraries we also need to again we need to focus on getting pop assimilation so let's get some of these happening here there we go now we're going to turn off Oh dear. Let us summer our fleet maintenance can stay down. Fort maintenance will go down. We'll keep the wages on at the moment. So we want to drill our troops and start to get that coming the experience points. All right. Look at that. It's been a good start to the campaign. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now. You won your war. You're happy with me, I guess. Do you want to create some client states? Hmm. Do this territory for myself as it's... We're going to start to get into this nice culture down here soon. Uh, 
Are they still at war? No, they are not. They we have a truce. Who? Are they still at war with anyone? No, they... Phrygia now have truces all around the board. Me and Egypt, though. We will probably come to blows. It's a guaranteed. They're 42 to our... No, they have more cohorts there than me, but due to us being in peace, I don't really see the reason to have more, to be honest. We can give them bribes, but it doesn't really work out that well. We'll just give them some state-owned land. Why not? We want the... Yes, we can trade. Okay. Court demands protection for the weak. So we have so we have similar cohorts. I've got all those libraries now. Citizen des desire ratio will go up. More citizens, better research, better research, quicker wars because we'll just smash them. Yeah, so question is, do we take this or this land back that we lost? What we'll definitely do is add a fort here. to fortify our border. guys are a tributary but if they become a disloyal relations with them. See. These guys, they don't like me, but because of the war, Aggressive expansion, obviously. But not too bad. So one of the reasons we didn't take any Cappadocian land or try and make a vassal of Cappadocia was actually quite 
simple. I want the Phrygian states to realize that they have a shot to grow them in strength by weakening Phrygia. I took Phrygia's capital and a lot of, I look at this capital, it had all these pops. You know what I mean? Like that's a lot of pops for a capital. So that's going to really help. To um, yeah, get our freaky out of fully fracture into a bunch of civil wars. Like at the moment, yeah, sure, they have an army, they're quite strong, but they will not be able to keep that up. disloyal governor and this guy random guy you're a governor with no corruption I don't want to add corruption to you can I do Try and make friends with them. I uh, see. Maria are now at war with a bunch of those. Their subjects. So we're getting closer to. I don't know if we have a truce anymore as well. We have a free cast this belly. We could move on them. These two corruption. Least... Head of the family. I don't know if we should bribe him, he'll become stronger. He's already not that loyal. Give him a tiny bit more. Mm. I guess we could. No, we will not. He's not a governor, he's just a corrupt traitor. It's not the best, but could be worse. So now could be the time for a very quick war to retake this province. You are the head of that family. Um. 
I don't know exactly how they're doing. They still have some loyal vassals. Let's have a look at our prisons. From this last war characters, there it is. done. We are starting to get a bit of bank behind us. If we go to war, we'll just use the troops we have, which isn't a bad force against these guys have, which is a lot more than us. But I'm guessing they're worse quality. And they're in the middle of another war. Oh, we have a claim on these guys, and they're a lot weaker. So could do that quite easily. That will... Let's see if they have any tr good trade goods. Yeah, help them out. Well, it's expensive to help them out, but yeah, why not? Pirates. They have a pirate haven there. I already want to destroy them now. Camels, livestock, leather, fish, dyes. That's alright. Let's actually un our f put our fleet up. Have them on anti piracy. Let's give you. You seem okay. You're pretty standard. Just destroy pirates, go nuts. And as soon as I do that, I have a family scorned. You suck. Is that my family? No, I'm there. He's not loyal. All right. The ex executive um Aggressive expansion is going down, so we will hold off on this war. Now, let's have a look how the world's going. We had a pretty intense war. We gained a, quite a bit. Egypt was it's kind of a piece. So what we could do. We could go to war with Egypt. I can't really get there, though. So let's be honest, it's probably really not worth it for us. Alexandria is a beautiful city to have, and we will, we do definitely plan to take Alexandria. Oh, 
quarter distance is the biggest issue it looks like. Sparta is not doing well. Let's see what they want. Do they want to ally us? Yes, of course, because they're getting wrecked. That's what I could do. I could demand peace. How do I, how do, I do that again? Let's see. Intervening war. How am I not a great power? Major power, okay. I need to get a bit stronger before I could intervene in the war and save Sparta. Epirus is getting wrecked. Sparta's dying. Athens is no more. Athens has been destroyed in the war. So what did Phrygia lose? Egypt? I don't think Egypt even got anything. They, their borders are the same here. So did they wipe peace out of that war? Judah is still yet yeah, Phrygian. They must have wiped peace out of that war. Unless I'm missing something. This is still... That is nothing. They may have got them to release some of their s vassals. No. I have no idea. See, I can't actually... I can now start building a fleet so I could actually transport into some of these um kind of walls up north. Rome's growing. Carthage is... not. They have quite a lot of subjects. Oh. Thanks, you know, Pretender. Which general, which army are you in? I don't like that. You're a pretender and you're a general. Third army. Second army. Oh, not the first. First army. <laughs> you are not. A... <sighs> okay. That's a look. What? I am plus that. There we go. Okay, um, let's go to characters. Let's check this pretender out. This pretender. Speech of the successors. Draw money. I don't really need the manpower at the moment. Stability could be nice. Oh, money would be fine. Siphon funds. Mm. I don't need to die yet. You are amazing. And you will die, so. 
Governor Syria. Really? He's decided to be a pretender? Of course. It's a pretender, pretender, and pretender. But he won't win. He doesn't have that much support. That's fine. We're getting military experience up at an okay rate. We're pretty sure we're picking up our citizens at research points. Research efficiency. Let's get in there. Super expensive to actually buy anything though because of our size. Yes, finally, move out and start killing these pirates. Are you this? You're not the pretender. Good. Be loyal. The governor of Syria. I can't believe it. All right. He came from nothing and is already a pretender. You really wish to die for. to imprison him first. Send adventuring. To child. I'll lose stability, but it's not too bad. Who is this war with? Treason. Him to go to jail. Success. All right. Court of arms. Of course, we'll accept. We are there. We go. He's loyal. No corruption. Yes. As long as you're loyal, I don't care. Oh, hello. Welcome. Viking, how are you doing? If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you have any ideas for this campaign, let me know. I have the chat up, so I will respond. If I suddenly have to go, I um, it's because I'm my CPU is not 100% at the moment. I and I'm watching the temperature, so it should be good. So not much is up. I'm so we've won the war with Frigia, the first war, as uh, Seleucids. As you could tell, look at that beautiful chunk out of them. Bit of bit Bordegor at the moment, but we will fix that by continually eating them. Problem solved. I'm wanting our aggressive expansion to go down a bit, as we have a lot of people of the wrong culture as well as some subjects before we start our next campaign. We're at war at the moment, but it's a very kind of phony war. 
because I'm not that willing to help. And it looks like our allies have it in the bag. Let's see if they're allied to anyone interesting. No, they are not. It's an easy win. I will eventually start building up a navy on in the Mediterranean. Yeah, it is um it is fun. It's it's a fun game. So yeah, no, definitely it's um not many people are streaming in Peritorum. I have seen a few. And I've liked the ones I've seen, especially if they when they speak English, it's quite <laughs> it's quite good to see other perspectives. So now if you stream, um, and let me know, I'd love to check it out sometime. And thanks, you have a good one too. Apollo has no holy sites anymore. We can eventually invest in making some holy sites in our territory. Sack of Hera Temple. Uh, I don't really have nothing to do with these guys, so I don't really care. Alright, let's have a look at changing the deity. So we are Hellenic Pantheon. So let's keep it, Hellenic Pantheon. Ares. We could change to Ares and invest in actually getting the Ares temple. So we'll do that. We're investing in Ares. And we will consecrate a site. We'll save up a bit of money to do so. Right now, province loyalty is probably is quite important. We will go to that. Large amount. Nice. So they're doing well. Just building up our navy. Killing pirates. So we're definitely going to, so where can we invest? Simulation speed perfect. Yeah, why not? Friends with an ally. Religion. So, I'm pretty close to being able to dedicate a holy site. Quite nice in our ca capital. A temple of Ares. I am really tempted to train them it's just it would be very costly and again I'm just trying to make some money and invest in my mighty empire
Exec uh, allies taking control of Crete, then they will become a stronger ally, which is good. Will not become a client state, but you know, that's fine. We want a stronger ally in that region to help us out. Legitimacy is good, so we shouldn't have any issues when we when our mighty leader passes on. We will lose some Cassus bellies. We have one against Frigia until my leader dies. We are s still in a truce. And they have some decent alliances as well, which need to be noted, including a shared alliance with these guys. And again, our aggressive expansion needs to go down. I know, it's, I'm so tempted to spend money and it's hard not to. How are these guys going? They're still in war? Yes, they are still at war. I want them, India to continually be at war. And we're going to watch that with great interest. Parthian, culture group, Persian. We do not have many Macedonian, but we have a lot of, we have Persian and Aramaic. We're starting to get more Macedonian. Now look at that. So it is working. Our investments are working. Come on. I really want that Ares temple. There we go. Ares, look at that. Now, and yes, that did drain us of money, but I think that should be worth it. We will find. Just flog him until he dies. Oh, he has a friend that's a governor. Selling to slavery. Nope, oh, here's a part of my king that would go down bad. Kill him. That might just work, or banish him. Target, banish him to there we go. That's pretty good. Problem solved, he's gone.
missions. I've done that. Make a few, make some extra cities. Is this region? You get the what's it for Redanian. Let's have a look at where the cities are on the map mode. Oh. Redanian, Redanian. Oh, that's probably our oh, provinces, right? All right, what do we got? Is this Redenium? Yes, buy stuff from me. I'm awesome. Yeah, go for it. Denium. Aha. The city's here. Try and have them near the We need a lot more money, but if we need to invest in this border, which is fine, including the capital here, it should be the same area. Oh, oh. Ah, uh, no, it says not, so it has to be around this area. Okay, good to know. But yeah, it's not too bad of a plan. Just lower characters, that's fine. How did I lose manpower? Oh no, I didn't. I think I had 60 and I'm just thinking I had 80. Okay, that makes sense. I'm not liking the fact that I've kind of helped them in the wars and they're about they're friends of my enemies. Not the biggest fan of that. Hmm. Oh, our leader is dying. Which is sad because he was a very good general. Oh, let's build some roads. We haven't got to that stage yet. Once we get to roads, we need to build roads. Roads are amazing. Ah, stability needs to go up. Let's do that. This reliquary, so what should we put and where? Local manpower. Primary culture happiness is always good. And 
and oh none okay All right, let's have a look at our government. What can we do here to summon war counts or... Ah, oh, right. Political influence is a bit low. So, it's a good start to this campaign. Okay, future targets. Definitely, we need to clean up those borders. Alright, he is, uh, he has the right preferred heir. He's a minor character. The Admiral. We will send the random. Go! And win! I don't like when they're allied to our enemies. They've done well coming back from this war. We took a lot from them, and they hate us. But they have allied well since. With our aggressive expansion, definitely hard to ally. Doesn't mean we can't. See what we can do now. They are loyal, which is unfortunate for us. Arminia, you're at war. Parthia, you are loyal, which is great. Stay loyal. Oh, do we want to integrate? Not really. Okay, let's have look. Let's have a gander. Let's see how Carthage is doing it. Have a guess now. Carthage has not secured this island which is a bit uh, disappointing it's a bit random although yeah, we have the uh, Olympic Games yeah great Man Gratia is doing okay they're doing well their allies, let's see they're allied to. Hey, they have just two feudatory subjects and no alliances. And they're they're going to go into conflict with Rome, by the way, they're acting. Carthage though is allied to a few little teams. We have little teams, let's see we got few tribes. So Carthus is really knuckling down on Iberia. So Prosper's awesome. He's coming out of Persia. We get a marketplace, help locals with some funds. give the temple the province what they want why not oh look that's we're getting there with our disloyal characters as well see how culture's going we are having more Macedonian pockets we have this Macedonian area developing nicely 
Um, this is still pretty quite early, and look at that. That's developing quite nicely into a Macedonian heartland. How are you looking? You are still disloyal. So yeah. Egypt. How's Egypt going now? I'm surprised that about Egypt's lack of growth to be perfectly honest they had the potential to grow really strong they were winning the war I don't know why they would have pieced out for less they ha still have some loyal they have some fugitaries have they lost Serenica Serenica yes they have this could be a good ally for us Although it might, we need to have a border with Car with Car We need to have a border with Egypt before we make that ally. That is our next focus for the war. Is we need to we want to border Egypt as well, and we want this peace deal to come hurry up and end. It has ended. Oh. Okay. Should we get prepared? Let's get prepared for another war. Let's go. Let's go at it. All right. Stop training. Head to the front. You did very well last time. Add a couple more light. Granary. Awesome. See who will help us in our war. If we went to war, he would help us. So they will help us. Roads will not. Why will roads not? A bad stability. Okay, that's a good reason. Who else can we ally for this war? Thrace is at war. Macedon. You're at war with Athenian revolt. Okay. You won't ally me anyway. Serenica might be useful in this war. Ten division. Ten is not too bad. There we gotta help me out of that could also help me out again. So who is stronger? We have eight or ten. That's obvious. Are they their subjects still? Armenia, I would love you to be my ally just for this one war. You'll be able to benefit. Alright, good for them, I guess. Okay. We still have one that we can ally. I like both of them and prefer a Greek somewhere. You are an I of Phrygia also. The Greeks are really allied together. Oh, Bosporan, you helped me out in another war. 
Will you not ally me nine? Uh, cultures. Is a subject country. Seven, yeah, no, you won't work. Serenica, I'm allying you anyway. Nope, you will not accept me now. Diplomacy, come on. Chair, Parthia, Rhodes. Who are these guys? Right, my other subject, awesome. All right, Egypt. Nope, no way. Okay, too many relations. Oh, yeah, that's me. So I'm over my relation slot anyway, because. That's just how I've rolled, apparently. Plus four. Yes, yeah, so I'm one over. Okay, cool. So I can't really ally an extra one. Should I get... He's still a pretty decent general. We'll keep him now. He's going to go in on this war. Everyone. Where's this wall go? Tolia, that's way too far away. I will pause while we get this wall going. Yeah, let's have a look at the region we want. do in this region it's quite wealthy so that is province of Sienica or something along those lines Alright, so, where is it? I think it's here we're going to take. Let's hope it is. Let's just double check. Province of Solidity. So it's the so thing Solidica, I guess this area. Uh, so. Their allies are pretty intense. But we can do this. All right. There'll be 
pretty insane. Uh, they've joined the war, yep. So, first battle will be the same. You guys will go straight for this province here. Alright, so first few battles are the same. Let us play and hope for the best. Hopefully all my allies jump in, which looks like they are doing perfectly. Ah, 11k. I'll defeat that army first. Still earning money. Even let's just make sure our forts are turned on. Yep, forts are on, fleets on. Awesome. I'm still earning money. There it is. Yes, you walk into that army. Go for it. Bring it on. They're gonna die. You'd be outflanked by my elephants. And I'll have the same problem here. Run away, please. You go there. Are these guys at war with me? Do they actually. No. Alright. That's understandable. That's a decent sized stack. We will have to reinforce that army. Alright, let's just go forward. Oh no, lost claims. Oh well, wow. random events. So, he loses loyalty. That's sucky because I have a new leader. Ten or fifteen now. All right. Secession crisis. That is not what we want right now. Governor, he is Admiral. Governor wins. He did not want a secession crisis, but that is what we have, friends. And what is it? Is this, uh, yep, Pretender has launched a massive army. Okay, cool. Well, hopefully you still fight the enemy that we are at war with. Arrange adoption. No, not arrange adoption. Arrange marriage. You are 35. You need to marry some... Hmm. 
Come on. Else. That's the best. That's the youngest of the selections. Oh, wow. Right on. It's costly, but it's the youngest one we could marry. So we have... You and... You. Be loyal. And our civil war sucks. Governor of the 4th Army, which is this disloyal one over here. Which is massive, by the way. What can we do to him? Courage deserters. Done. That sucked to happen while we're in the, when we just embarked on this war. Hmm. So win this war I'm pretty confident and yes hindsight should have probably put some forts here like in the mountains that would have been nice even where they're sieging on that little city I could have put a hit that still heals it would have still been better oh no just move 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 Get there before they link up. There you go. I love you not to be involved, but I actually kind of need you to be involved. You go that way. Awesome. We took that part, now we can just focus on this wall. Get up there quickly. And we have our new investment of the Ares. It's going to give us morale of armies, as well as experience and primary culture happiness. Because we have that. Um, where was this army? We were victorious there. Thank you very much for crushing them. None shall hide. You now then go and take the... This war is a lot more, we still have the advantage, but it's a lot more of a hard fight. I believe we have the advantage. Let's just double check numbers here. We've got 16, 16 now, 25, 28. Yeah, we can still do this. It's pretty equal numbers, so it's a fair fight. there curve oh nuts now go here you are going to get wrecked they have way too many troops 
Is that my curve? No. Why are you... Are you disloyal too? Why is everyone disloyal? Oh, no. I just... Hang around. We can still turn this around. Let's get your loyalty up. Bribe. Thank you. Now, now that you're bribed. You go there. Alright, we can still get this. We have the money, we can hire mercs. We can merc up to win this, if need be. Could be good to get us a nice general at least. 10. There we go, we have a nice invasion in the south. Go, 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 go. Now, oh, come on, you can do this. Yep. Turning the battle around. Just have to hold out long enough for my larger stack to get there. Oh, both my large stacks are on their way. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I don't want this fight now. There we go. I'm still winning that. Scandal. What do we have? Governor. None of our business, I don't care. The morale's terrible of these troops, but let's send them in again. If we can just tip it that tiny bit. There we go. Tip the lines again so that we're doing more damage. Let's go to national, blah, 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 government, show government, laws. That's such an, ah, oh, we won, we did it. We lost so many troops. But so did they. So who cares? And with that, 
I'm going to actually end the stream. It's been two, two hours, so it's going to be it for this stream. Thank you very much for tuning in. Have a good one. This is Elf King Out. I will be posting the recording on YouTube as well. All right. Catch you. Have a good one.